بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد احبت في الله what should the muslims in the west be concentrating on in this current climate of hate current current uh, uh, climate of abuse and being forced into a position of being victimized how should we operate what should our youth be focusing on first and foremost we need to strive our utmost to adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in that we need to prioritize knowledge in our lives so that way we are not influenced with deviant ideologies and that we have proper Islamic tools to help defend us and to help to know how to cooperate uh, how to operate in any given situation bi idnillah ta'ala the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man yuridullahu bi khairan yafqahu fi din whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion so this fiqh fi din gives you the tools on how to practice your religion how to protect yourself from shubahat from doubtful things, doubtful ideologies, deviant ideologies, and how to protect yourself from shahwat, from being overcome by desires. Because the shaitan will attack you in both ways. Another important thing, a habitifillah, is that whatever extent of knowledge you have, that you should share. I'm not saying everyone should be on the minbar and giving dawah, no. We're not advocating like our brothers in Jamaat at the may Allah guide us in them, what they are advocating, because it's based on bid'ah and it's based on khurafat. But rather, a habitifillah, we still don't deny the fact that all of us can share da'wah by doing good deeds and setting a good example for the ourselves and the greater community because if you live in America or you live in the UK or you live in France or you live in wherever in the West or in a non-Muslim uh, environment where you're a minority community then even you should be striving even more to show the people the beauty of Islam the brotherhood of Islam and how Islam invites people regardless of your your race regardless of your nationality, to enter the faith of worshiping the one true God, the only one worthy of worship. And we can do this by doing charitable works, stepping out of the shell. Why is it that the Christians have their church? They don't even fill their sh churches throughout the week, but yet they allow their sh churches to be shelters. I'm not saying the message should be a shelter, but I'm just showing you that they are opening their doors as a community to the homeless. They go out and feed the homeless. They're constantly active. We have to ask ourselves, where's our, what is our priority? And how can we show that we should be in the forefront of this, of helping to, uh, if not alleviate poverty, to lessen poverty, or to help and invite people. What a better way, what better way to invite people than to show them kindness, even a smile, even a, a, a nice greeting, even, uh, you know, helping and assisting someone. We need to be in the forefront there. So that way people have the tools, the non-Muslims will have tools to be able to look and say, hey, well, I know Muhammad, I know Khalid, I know so-and-so. They don't do that. They don't believe like that because they've already given us dawah. They've already shown us through the example. That's the same guy who goes out at night with two or three brothers with big beards and short thobes and they're giving out the packages of food. Oh, that's the same one who helped me to my car. That's the same one who helped me in such and such situation. They'll have something to look at to be able to counter what the media and what's being portrayed by, by extremists 
and those evil people behind them who want to distort the image of Islam. They won't be able to if we are in the forefront setting the narrative by setting the example. So those are two pieces of advice that I can offer and that I believe is a way in accordance with what I've studied and in accordance with what I've seen in my experience that can be helpful during these times of trial and great fitna. We need to show them. And the last point I do want to mention as well, and I don't want anyone to take this out of context, but however, I be within the law in those lands and learn self-defense as well. That the Muslim brothers should not just be bookworms, but they should be able to handle themselves in one way or no norm. Learn martial arts. Learn those things in case sisters are being assaulted. No one should... We're not going to turn the other cheek and let you smack the other cheek. That's not our philosophy. But rather... We believe in humility and piety and charity and good works and we believe in defending ourselves from oppression. So learn how to be able to defend yourself and your family and protect yourself within the context of the law as the other communities do. Because we live in a time where even politicians, demagogues like Donald Trump and others are saying that we should, in fact, make policies where we monitor all the Muslims, so we might as well put tags on them, turn it into a Planet of the Apes type uh, scenario, and that we should not, we should deport Muslims, we should per keep the keep the doors shut so Muslims don't enter the country, you know, and, and make that a part of immigration policy until we've. This, these are very strange things, but these echo of what we saw with the, what happened in America in the Japanese internment camps and what has happened throughout the whole entire history to African Americans in the United States of America. So Ahabatifillah set a good example and let's not despair at what we see but let's empower ourselves with knowledge and practice and showing the people what Islam is and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam